farm 900 acres on the outskirts of Harrogate, North Yorkshire. We are predominantly a dairy farm. We have 420 cows, all the followers. In, the, in total, we have 1,100 cattle. But we try and do all the work ourselves. We try not to get outside contractors in. We uh, do a lot of grass silage, maize and whole crop. We use uh, precision technology on this farm because it helps with efficiencies when we're working in the fields. It means there's no overlap. It also helps the operator. If you're working long hours, it means the operators aren't as tired. They can relax slightly and it just helps the general day-to-day -day running when you're doing field work. Moving on from GPS, I would look towards section control technology as you can put it into applications with the fur spreading, the spraying, even drilling now which saves fertiliser, spray, seed and that is massive cost saving in any business. It's very simple to get into once you have the basic technology there to implement it onto. We currently use auto track, section control, TIA and the two harvest labs we use for the collection of data on the forager for crop yield and nutrients. We also have one on the dribble bar where we can manage whichever component we want to put on the most or most accurately. And we use the section control and the fertilizer spreader to give us precise nutrient applications which in sustainable farming is uh, where things are going. The operation centre benefits us in a massive range of ways, whether we're going into depth of what a machine's done over the lifetime of it, or whether you're wanting to know where a machine is. I find it very simple to use. Anyone can get on it and be trained on it in minutes. All the information goes onto there. You, can, you know which field you've been in, which, which day you've been in it, what you've applied in the field or what you've taken off the field. It's, it's even on your phone, on an app, a lot of the information, whether it's the fields, whether it's the machines, if there's any warnings, the servicing, the fuel levels, everything's on there for right at the click of your finger. Another thing I use Operations Centre for is whilst I'm building the clamp and compacting it, I look on my iPad on the Operations Centre and I know exactly what is coming out of the spout at any given moment. That helps me put the crop in the clamp where we want it, whether it's the ME, the dry matter, Anything, the sugars, everything, I can. I know exactly what's coming out and when they can then utilise that in winter for feeding. When it comes to technology, the dealer pays, plays a key role in supplying it and training of how to use it. Because it's all about having all the technology, but if you don't know how to get the most out of it, there's no point having it. For anybody thinking about using the, the, the new technologies going forwards, it's really important you try and embrace it and, and go for it. If you can't justify getting it on your own farm, look for contractors who actually can provide the service of um, harvesting the information and giving you good, good advice and uh, save you money in the, in, the, in the longer term. If I was giving any advice to any, anyone regarding John Deere technology, it would be definitely to do it. I'd say start small, start with like a receiver and then start using GPS for a start. It just helps everything. It saves a lot of time that you don't even realise it's saving you. It also creates a lot better working environment for you to be sat on a tractor all day. <laughs>